Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about basic data types in Oracle SQL. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is a data type. Data type defines type of information and amount of space required for a particular column. So what is a data type? Data type defines the type of information and amount of space, amount of space required for a particular column, particular column. Okay. As we said, a a table is a collection of attributes and the rows. The attribute is nothing but a particular column. Suppose if I have a student table, student table will have the attributes like student roll number, okay, name, okay, is all these things. Now, name is nothing but a collection of characters. Is is what is a numbers. Okay, so every data type defines the type of information you can store and similarly amount of space required also will be informed. We will discuss or list out various data types that will be supported by the Oracle SQL. One is that you have char and you need to specify the size. Let me give it in lower case. And then you have the var care to and then you need to specify the size. Okay. Similarly, you have the n care size and also you have the n var care to of size. First, let me discuss about them. Then we will list out other data types action of characters if you want to store then you can use the char data type there you need to specify the size if it does not specify the size the default size will be one byte okay so it is fixed size characters length okay fixed size character length what is meant by fixed size character means if you specify the char data type with the value or the size is 10 then meaning is that you can able to store 10 bytes of information or 10 characters but let's take that you have given sql then how many characters you are storing three characters so remaining seven bytes of memory will be wasted okay is it clear that is what the meaning of char okay fixed size characters now this limitation has been overcome okay what is the limitation is the fixed one instead of that one they have gone for the variable size character length what is the meaning is that if you specify var char 2 of size 10 then meaning is that you can able to store 10 bytes or 10 characters information if you have provided a string consists of characters as sql then how many characters are there three characters are there then remaining seven bytes of memory will be released and the maximum size maximum size you can provide for the var char 2 is 4000 bytes whereas char maximum size is 2000 bytes now we will talk about the n char okay n char data type there you need to specify the size only the difference between the char and n char is n char able to store special symbols which is nothing but the unicode symbols you can able to store so it is useful it is useful to store special symbols so the maximum size is 2000 bytes okay let me write here maximum size is 2000 bytes which is same as the char data type and similarly if i talk about the n var char 2 okay what is the difference between var char 2 and n var char 2 is var char can able to store characters Whereas n var char 2 is useful for you to store the special symbols. Remaining things are same. Here also the maximum size is 4000 bytes and this one is also variable size 
character length then we have the other data type as number okay which is useful for you to store the numbers then you need to provide one is the precision and another one is the scale we can able to store the precision and scale now you can ask me sir what is this precision and scale is there suppose let's take that i want to store an information as 1000.25 then how many digits are there 1000 is 4 2 5 so then it is 6 so the precision value you should provide as 6 and the scale you should provide as 2 because two digits are there after the decimal so if you provide a number with precision as 10 scale as 3 meaning is that in that number the total digits are allowed is 10 total digits allowed is 10 and the decimal part okay after the decimal how many digits are allowed is three digits are allowed okay after decimal three digits are allowed total digits are 10 and after decimal three digits are allowed this is about the number then we have the float what is this float let me discuss it for you float only you have to provide the precision only okay there is no need of providing the scale in the float so what i can say it is the subtype of subtype of the number data type because in number you can able to store precision and scale but in float we are only storing the precision so it is the subtype of the number having precision p then we have the next data type which is date data type which is useful for you to store the dates like the default format of the date is you have to store the dd and then myn and then yy and another one is you can even store date as dd myn yyy okay now what is this day suppose let's take that i want to store 27th july 2022 because current date is 27th july 2022 then how can i store is 27 so i will write 27 then july okay first three characters in the month you have to write which is j u l either you can provide this th first three characters in the lower case or in the upper case or mixed character okay mixed character is one can be in upper case one can be lower case either you can provide 22 or you can provide 27 j u l 2022 like this you can store the data date values not data values it is date values so the default format is dd hyphen myn hyphen yy or dd hyphen myn hyphen year in four digits okay i hope you have understood about the date then we will discuss about the next one is ra okay ra you need to provide the size okay what is the use of this ra is that it can useful for you to store the binary data and hexadecimal data okay we can able to store binary data or hexadecimal data and maximum size you can able to store is 2000 bytes maximum size is 2000 bytes of information you can able to store using the ra then we have the long okay long data type is useful for you to store the character so i can say it is an extension to var care 2 okay what is the problem with the var care 2 you can able to store maximum of 4000 bytes that limitation has been overcome in the long maximum you can able to store 2 gb of information okay so i can say it is an extension to the var care 2 having the maximum size is 2 gb similarly you have the long ra okay what is this one is it is an extension to 
it is an extension to ra what is the ra useful we can able to store binary data and hexadecimal data of size maximum 2000 bytes whereas long ra supports the maximum size up to 2 gigabytes long you need to specify the size long ra also you need to specify the size long is an extension to varchar2 long ra is an extension to ra in a table for any means you a table means what you will have a collection of columns any one you have to use either you have to use the long data type or you have to use the long raw data type both of them are not allowed in a single table suppose let's take that you have a student table okay let's take that you have three columns either you can use long or long raw for one of the column you cannot use long for one column long raw for another column that is the limitation okay and remember one thing these two are deprecated right now we are not using them okay then you can ask me sir how this limitation can be overcome because you are saying that either we can use long or we can use the long raw so to do that one we have the b l o b and we have the c l o b and then we have the n c l o b what is this b l o b is nothing but it is binary large object the full form of b l o b is binary okay let me write properly binary large object whereas c l o b is character large object character large object and the n c l o b is multi byte character large object okay now the b l o b is an extension to raw data type raw data type is useful for you to store binary data or hexadecimal data so it is an extension to the raw data type and maximum size is allowed is 4 gb 4 gigabytes okay it is maximum let me correct the spelling okay c l o b is an extension to varchar2 it is an extension to varchar2 so it supports maximum sizes 4 gigabytes n c l o b is multi byte character large object which is also size 4 gigabytes okay so this is about the large objects which is binary large object character large object multi byte character large object then we have the b file okay what is the use of this one is you can able to store images graphics audio files exe files video files all these things we can able to store so that's why it does not have any maximum size limitation if you see all the data types whatever we have discussed till now there is a restriction on the maximum size suppose if i talk about the blob maximum size restriction is 4 gb when we have talked about the long raw the maximum size is 2 gb however coming to the b file there is no limitation on the maximum size and where this information will be stored is outside the database okay what kind of information we can store is images exe files audio files video files graphics etc so this is about the basic data types the oracle sql will support i hope you have understood this concept if you still have any doubts related to the basic data types don't worry when we create the tables when we insert the values into the tables there you will understand much better way still if you have a doubts don't worry please ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day